Hi, everybody. It's meteorologist Joe Chaffee, SNS Storm Chasers. Uh, we have a uh, another cold front that's approaching on Monday evening, and we're going to be taking a look at the NAM model depiction of all this. And as many of you have realized over the last number of weeks, that figuring out how these severe thunderstorms wind up evolving has been quite a challenge as models have different viewpoints and different uh, pictures of uh, how this is all going to play out. And this is the uh, NAM model picture at uh, 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, which shows some pretty hefty thunderstorms up through uh, central New England, central upstate New York, and then continuing into parts of eastern Pennsylvania, although the line kind of gets broken up uh, in weakens in Pennsylvania and stays a little stronger as you uh, go north and east. And as we move through uh, the time frame here into Monday evening, about 8 o'clock, you can see that the line on the NAM, at least, doesn't really hold together too well as it moves on through. So we'll see how this all plays out. It really doesn't show very much going on across southern Pennsylvania into Maryland and Virginia, although that doesn't necessarily mean it's correct because we've seen these models change before. Now, this is the 4-kilometer NAM, and what that means is that um, the spacing of the data here is very, very tight. So if you make like a little grid, there's data coming in at four kilometer squares. I mean, that's probably the easiest way to look at it. And that should technically work well with thunderstorms because it's a very, very small scale uh, type of, of event. If you look at the larger scale, 12 kilometer NAM, it really shows a line of uh, maybe heavy showers and a couple of thunderstorms embedded in it, but it's not um, nearly as well developed uh, as the four kilometer, although it does pick up some heavier cells behind it. So I'm not sure what it's looking at. The bottom line is the threat is there. Now, in terms of the extent of the threat, uh, we'll take a look at the Storm Prediction Center from the National Weather Service, and they actually have a pretty large area of slight risk of severe that covers just about all of Pennsylvania, except the extreme southeast, northern, the northwestern part of New Jersey, almost all of New York State, and then runs up into New England. Marginal risk extends down into central Virginia and covers um, most of Maryland, Delaware, uh, southern and central New Jersey, Long Island, and much of southern New England. So that is their view now. It may change tomorrow in either direction. We'll see. And we'll, of course, keep you abreast of all the uh, developments when severe weather breaks. Uh, be sure to uh, check s and Storm Chasers and, of course, Check uh, me on on uh, meteorologistjoechaffee.com and also on Facebook.